Hello everybody, this is Desiree and welcome back to my channel. Today is our second day here in Singapore and it's a Sunday, so guess what? We're going to church. Yes, you heard that right, we really are going to church. Mark, Bell, and I are Anglicans, so we're going to St. Andrew's Cathedral to attend their Mass. Mark and I have attended Mass there before, but Bell hasn't, so I recommended na we attend Mass not only because it's Sunday, but also for her to experience a church service in a foreign country that has a different culture than us. Since this is the day after attending the Blackpink concert, as you'd expect, late kami nagising. Kaya naman, imbes na mag-train o bus kami papunta ng simbahan, napag-grab tuloy kami para hindi kami malate. Pagdating namin doon, doon ko nalaman na under restoration pala yung simbahan. So, habang ginagawa yung restoration, they hold their masses at a different venue na katabi lang din naman ng simbahan. Pagpasok namin sa venue, there were people waiting sa may entrance who gave us a warm welcome, then proceeded to usher us sa empty seats sa loob. The flow of the service was pretty much the same as what we do here, but one thing that amused me was every time na may papakita sa screen na either quote or Bible verse regarding dun sa sermon, a lot of the older folks would whip out their phones and then take a photo of it. I assume that they use it as reference so they can read up on it later on. Kaya ayan, nakigaya din ako. Please do note na hindi naman talaga kami super religious. I mean, we don't go to church every Sunday, nor do we pray as regularly as we probably should. But here's the thing, whatever your religion is, whether you have one or not, I think it is important to acknowledge and appreciate the forces that bring positivity into our lives. So, whether that be God, or the universe, or kung ano man yung paniniwala mo. Taking a moment to be grateful really does go a long way. After the service, dumiretso naman kami ng MRT para pumunta ng Chinatown. This is the route that we took going to Chinatown. Sa so may St. Andrew's Cathedral, katabi niya yung City Hall na station. So we took the red line papunta ng Dobigout. And from Dobigout, sumakay kami ng purple line papunta ng Chinatown. Papanam tata. Welcome to Chinatown. Gusto ko yung paglabas mo ng MRT, bungad mo, Chinatown na agad. Ang ganda sana pag ganun din sa atin, no, yung pagbaba mo ng LRT, binondo na agad. Anyway, madaming pwedeng puntahan dito sa Chinatown. Like yung Buddha Tooth Relic Temple, Sri Mariaman Temple, the Baba House, the Singapore City Gallery, and yung pupuntahan namin ngayon, which is the Maxwell Food Center. As much as we want to roam around more and discover more of Chinatown, may hinahabal kasi kaming oras kasi pupunta kami ng Marina Bay Sands mamayang hapon. Then, diretso na yun papunta ng Gardens by the Bay. Kaya ang pinunta lang talaga namin dito sa Chinatown is kumain. Also, napakainat sa labas kasi tirik na tirik talaga yung araw. Kaya naman, nakakaubos ng energy yung maglakad-lakad. <laughs> Ito 
Ang gusto ko talaga ng tikman dito sa Maxwell Food Center is yung Tian Tian Hainanese Chicken Rice. For some reason, we lined up dun sa unang stall na may Hainanese Chicken Rice. And dito nga yung Hong Hong Hainanese Chicken Rice. Siguro kasi lunchtime, but the place was jam-packed with people. Mark and I scoured for seats while Bell lined up sa queue. The food itself was good. I like the chicken, I like the soup, I like the rice. But was it life-changing? No. I would still recommend that you try it though. I mean, iba iba naman tayo ng panlasa, so pwedeng sa inyo, mas masarap siya. I would have loved to check out the other stalls and try out their foods, kaya lang gahol na kami sa oras, kaya after our lunch, umalis na din kami. But there's always a next time. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'd get notified of my next uploads.